Welcome back to Aurora Tech Channel. This is the second tutorial in my Fusion 360 short tutorial series. In the first tutorial, we learn how to draw simple sketches and use the extrude tool to create a body and cut into another body. If you followed the last video, you should be able to create a simple knob. In this video, we will learn some new features like the loft tool and offset plane so that we can make more complex shapes like this. In some cases, we may need to draw sketches on more than one plane and connect them together to create a 3D model. Let me show you a simple example to explain this. If I want to create a drum like this, we need to use the offset plane and loft tool. As you can see, the top and the bottom of this drum are circles with the same diameter, but the center is larger. If we just draw a circle and extrude it, we will get a cylinder instead of a drum. So we need to create three circles on three different planes and connect them. I will start with drawing a circle on the Z plane as the base. Let's create a sketch. Select the bottom plane, draw a 50 millimeter circle, and click Finish Sketch. When I go to the browser to show the origin, you can see that the circle is on the bottom plane. Next, I will create a new plane, and I want it to be 50 millimeters higher than the bottom plane. So select Construct, Offset Plane, select the bottom plane and enter 50 millimeters. That means we will offset 50 millimeters from the bottom plane. Click OK. If you go to the browser, you can see a new plane under construction has been created. Click on the eye to show it. The distance between this new plane and the bottom plane is 50 millimeters. As the middle of the drum is wider than the top and the bottom, we will draw a larger circle on this new plane. Create a sketch, select the new plane, draw a circle with a diameter of 75 millimeters, and click Finish Sketch. The circle is now flying in the air. Let's show the plane from the browser. You can see this 75 millimeter circle is on the new plane. To complete the drum, we need another plane. Click Construct again and select Offset Plane. This time we will click on the new plane we offset it from the bottom. Enter 50 millimeters so it will create another plane which is offset 50 millimeters from the second plane. Let's create a sketch on this plane. Draw a circle, enter 50 millimeters for the diameter, and click Finish Sketch. Now we can use the Loft tool to connect these three circles together to make a drum shape. Select Create, Loft, click on the three circles on each plane, and click OK. We've created a drum shape from these three circles on three different planes. If we hide the origin and construction, this would be the drum you saw in the beginning of the video. To create a knob with complex shapes would apply the same concept. Since we already have the measurements from my last video, we know that the base of the knob is 27 millimeters, the height is 27 millimeters, the shaft diameter is 6.5, the flat part from the top is 5.5, and the height of the shaft is 12 millimeters. From the final shape, we know that we probably need a few planes and we need to draw some circles, rectangles, and use the loft tool to connect them. Let's say we have no idea what the exact number of planes we need is, but we can be sure that we need a circle on the base and a rectangle on the top. Let's start with drawing a circle at the bottom plane as the base. Create a sketch, select the bottom plane, draw a circle, and the diameter should be 27 millimeters. Click Finish Sketch. Next, we will create an offset plane for the top. Select Construct, Offset Plane, and select the Z plane. As the height of the knob is 27 millimeters, we will offset it by 27 millimeters. The rectangle on the top is around 24 by 5.5 millimeters. So create a sketch, select the center rectangle, start from the center, and enter 24 and 5.5 millimeters. Click Finish Sketch. 
If we use the loft tool to connect them now, we may not get the shape we need, but let's try to connect them and see what it looks like. Select Create, Loft, and select the two surfaces we need to connect. We get a clone with a rectangular top, which is not too bad. We can still use it as a knob, but if we compare it to the final shape we want, we are missing something in the middle to create smoother transitions. For now, we can delete the loft we just created, and you'll see that everything is gone. But you don't have to worry about that, because Fusion just hides the sketches. If we go to the browser and select the eyes to show them, the shapes will show up again. Let's also show the origin and construction. Now, we will create another plane from the base. As you can see, the 27mm circle is actually extended around 3mm before it starts the transition to the rectangle. So, we will select Construct, create another offset plane, select the bottom plane and enter 3mm, as we want it to offset 3mm from the bottom. Create another sketch and draw a center diameter circle from the center and enter 27 millimeters. Click Finish Sketch. If we use Loft now and select these three shapes, it will make a knob that is closer to what we need, but the transition is still not what we want. We need to add another rectangle between the top and second circle. Now, press Ctrl Z on your keyboard or Command Z for a Mac to undo the Loft. We will create another offset plane. Select Construct, Offset Plane, and select the bottom plane again. This time we want an 8mm offset from this plane. Then, create a sketch, select the new plane, and we will draw another center rectangle, which is 24mm tall. We want it to be a little wider, so enter 10mm and click Finish Sketch. We can use the Loft tool to connect them again. Click Create Loft, select these four surfaces, and click OK. The shape is almost what we wanted, but there is a problem. There's a hole that we don't want which was caused by the steep transition. In this case, we can undo the Loft. We will use the Loft tool again, but this time we will connect two rectangles together. Click OK. Then, we will use the Loft tool again. Connect the bottom of the rectangle and two circles. Click OK. We finally created the shape we wanted. As you can see, there are some sharp corners and edges. If we want to smooth them over, we can add something called fillets. This will add a tangent arc to smooth the transition. Just press the F button on your keyboard and select all the sharp edges. I will set the fillets to 1mm. Click OK and all the sharp edges are now rounded. The knob is now done, but we still need to cut out the bottom for the shaft. Since we've learned how to do this in the last video, I will leave it to you as an exercise. Please repeat what I did in this video and try to finish the part for the shaft by yourself, but feel free to watch the previous video again if you forgot how to do it. You can simply draw the shape you want to cut on the bottom sketch and extrude it to the existing body to cut out the shaft. Let's summarize what we've learned in this video. The offset plane is used to create a new plane. We use an existing plane as a reference and specify the distance between the new plane and the existing plane. After the new plane is created, we can create a sketch on it. We use the loft tool to connect two or more surfaces to create a body. We can also use the loft tool to select different surfaces to get different shapes. We use fillets to add a tangent arc to avoid the sharp edges of a shape. In the next video, 
I will show you how to design some simple parts for 3D printers, like this set of fan ducts, which requires a single sketch using the mirror tool and extruding the same sketch multiple times on different surfaces. But please try to do the exercise to make sure you've mastered what you learned in this video, so you have a solid foundation before you move on. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. My brother and I make a new video every weekend, so check out my channel on Mondays and you'll see something new. See you next week.